Christy Altamar is one that could have been ripped from the script of a Hollywood rom-com. After all but giving up on love, the Broadway star stumbled upon her soulmate by pure chance when her childhood crush, Chris Crook, came back into her life. And when Christy shared their love story on Instagram, it went viral, melting the hearts of millions, including mine, and I know yours too. Take a look. <laughs> full-blown real tears here because it is so beautiful um you thought that you might never see him again i mean it had been 20 years we had lost touch as we do we say we fell in love kind of well we had crushes on each other during the wonder years right yeah. 11 12 13 years old and then we just lost touch and i i was engaged to be married i was previously married and over the pandemic you know he had gotten a divorce and i had i had you know broken up with my fiance and we just sort of thought well maybe this is it for us and we're just going to spend that time focusing on ourselves right and then i on a whim i went to christy's show and and it's so crazy because i had never done a solo broadway cabaret before but they always say like you should do the things that scare you the most uh -huh. and i knew i was going to be terrified but i went and i did it and the first number i sang was for the first time in forever do you know that it's from frozen yes. and the second verse she says what if i meet the one i suddenly see him standing there blah 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 and it's all about her meeting the one and then right after the show there he was and i I just fell madly in love with him. That night, too. <laughs> what was the moment where you said, I, I cannot go another minute of my life without her? Honestly, it was, it was, I think, some of that energy from those times we had together that she had mentioned she still had her old AOL email address. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to send her, like, a little something that's like, hey, if you're back in town and you want to, like, grab a drink or hang out. Um, it was a you know, very I'm, long email. You mentioned the email because I, I, I know that, and I have it here. You went back and found an old letter that he'd sent to you from way back in the day, and it said... How old were you when you wrote this? I'm going to read it. Oh, uh, let's see. It was 2000. I was 13. You were 13. Yeah. You're very mature at 13. It says, I really don't know how to put it into words, but I wish I was with you. And I'm pretty sure you like me too. <laughs> what do you think of me in the way of being, you know, your boyfriend? <laughs> and then you sign it, Chris. But then you add PS. I would say love, Chris, but I think I shouldn't say love unless I'm totally sure I mean it. These days, I, kn I know I'm sure I do that. <laughs> well, since Christy and Chris were here, they say they're finally getting their fairy tale ending. Take a look. Hey, Tamron and the Tam fam. It is Christy Altamar and Chris Crook here. We have big news to tell you. We got married! So it's been 20 years in the making, and once we reconnected after Christie's show in Bucks County, we ended up getting engaged. We knew we wanted the Playhouse to be a part of our wedding, so we ended up getting married right across the river, and our reception overlooked the lit-up Playhouse. That was so close to our hearts. One of our favorite Broadway songs is actually from Dear Evan Hansen, and it's called Only Us. And that's the song that we got to sing at our wedding. And since we spoke with you last year, I just finished Disney Princess the Concert, traveling all around the country, and now I'm working on two amazing new musicals. So we have something really special that we want to share with you, Tamron. We're excited! <laughs> it's exciting to start that, that next chapter of our lives together, too. Thank you so much, Tamron. Thank you for having us on the show, and we'll definitely make sure to send baby pictures your way.